What is up guys, Roby Tech here, and we are going to be showing you the brand new Sparkle GPUs, these brand new Intel Arcs. We got the Titan and the Orc, and they even have a thing called the Elf, but that's an A380. We're gonna build a showcase system for them right around 1200 bucks, but we've also got down in the description below a much less expensive version. Spoiler alert guys, you are gonna be super impressed with how much these cards are able to handle games like Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Call of Duty, and even Hogwarts Legacy. Anyway, let's get into the build and the stream. Here we are, we're gonna be building, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, we are gonna be building the Intel Arc brand new Sparkle GPU from Newegg. And again, huge shout out to Newegg and to uh, the fine folks over at Intel. We got the Core i5-13400F. We got that MSI MAGB 660 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. Uh, we got that WD Black 1 terabyte SN850X, that G-Skill Triton Z Royal Elite, again, looking to be bling bling, uh, the NZXT H5 Elite case. We've got the NZXT T120 RGB air cooler, and then finally the EBGA Supernova 650. And let's begin the build process. Uh, so in, in terms of competition, uh, the A750 is like, it's gonna be like the 4060. Um, in terms of uh, what it's capable or comparable to. Okay, here we go, guys. Will it clear is the question. And let's go ahead and start the clicks. Let's do 96 for the clicks. Okay, here we go, get our CPU in there. Oh, that was a pretty good jump. That was a pretty good jump, but it did not, uh, it did not clear all the way. I love this. I actually love this air cooler. We have a review on it if you wanna check that out. It's actually a really cool air cooler. It's a little bit pricey, but you're paying for some very quality construction. And the other thing too, is it's very easy to install. Okay, let's do our RAM clicks. Okay, so check it out. Check out this RAM. See how it's got the sparkle? Like I had to get the sparkle in there. So I know I'm only putting two dims in, but you know, it's still 32 gigs. 94.9. Ninety-five point two. It didn't do it. Excalibur. It's so long. I mean, like you know what I mean. But you need a long screwdriver, also just to pick your nose. You know what I mean. Like if you have something of like this size, it just does a good job of you know you don't have any clearance issues. It just does what it's supposed to do. Ugh. Okay. Here's our case. We're gonna make it look pretty in. That peel was lackluster. Let us throw the mobo in the case very kindly, very gently. Pop it down here like so. Let's go ahead and put in our other fan. Thanks to Org Chaos for pointing that out. I think I would have at some point realized, oh, there's no rear exhaust fan. Build is coming along nicely. Cause I mean, the thing is, is like in terms of cable management, not a whole lot to do once we get this. Cause I mean, the AIO is usually some of the most complicated cable management because we don't have an AIO. There's not much to uh, actually cable manage here. And this is another one of those things that the cable doesn't quite line, like they like to stick their cables on the side. Looks nice. Okay. So now let's go to the back. We're gonna clear up this one cable right here. This is the only cable we'll have from the top here. This will just be a nice clean top here. All of our fan in, our fan cable controlled. Now we're just gonna run our front panel con connections. And then once this is done, we'll run our, our, our extensions and then our GPU is basically ready to go. USB-C goes right here and USB-3, it goes right here. Bottom fan, USB 3.2, USB-C. We got front panel connection, uh, USB for our hub, two front fans, and then our HD audio. So now we're just gonna get our cable management done, and then it's just extensions and we go from there. Get those purple in here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We have everything prepped on the case side. Let's go ahead and open up our GPU. I know people are excited about this. Guys, by the way, be prepared because this GPU is very pretty. And there it is. Look at that. Beautiful blue. Even the, the connections are blue. The PCB is blue. Black on the top, but the front, I mean, that's what we're gonna see right there. So that should be, that's gonna look really, really nice. So we'll do two up at the top. 
like so. And then what we'll do is at the bottom, just to make sure it looks cable managed as well, we will do one more. I'll run the cable and see how far it is and then run the cable comb. This is all little things that you can do to make your build look that much better, you know? Run those down there. Okay, cool. So now we'll just get this screwed in. Okay, card installed. Okay, so here is our side, that's our build. That's what the front's gonna look like. All right, let's get our PSU in and then we'll turn it on and then that's it. We're at the very end, guys. In terms of power, you don't need a whole lot. This one isn't bad. That doesn't stink so bad. Okay, so here we go on the side. We need our VGA. We'll need our PSU motherboard. We'll need our peripheral and then we'll need our SATA or CPU. Okay, let's slip this in. There we go. Ugh. Okay, there's our build. Here we go, turning it on. Oh, I see a light. Oh, the lights are on. Now, for the fun stuff, let's see how this thing performs. Okay, so there's our i5-13400. You can see package temp right now is sitting at 44, and you know, things seem pretty normal. So let's run here, we'll go to File, Advanced Benchmark. We're gonna do 10 minute duration, and let's see how this runs. We're up to 60. CPU temperature for this core i5-13400, especially with this T120, no problem, but it's got all the blue RGB to make it look pretty. So as we can see, I don't think we're gonna have any problems from a productivity standpoint if you really wanna push this with this case whatsoever. Okay, so let's take a look at games, starting with Call of Duty. So we'll start with Call of Duty 1080p, and here's how we get to see how this actually runs. So this is 1080p, XESS. We're just trying to get the highest frame rate we can at 1080p. There we go, so okay, so 100, which is definitely which is definitely good enough for, for some gaming, right? Um, so we're looking at 94 frames per second. And let's go ahead and go to quality. Let's just see if we can get it, let, let's go a little bit lower, apply. So this is just trying to see how high, what's the highest we can get. Yeah, and again, this is an entry level build, right? So there you go, there's 101 frames per second. So if you wanted to go even a little, you can get above 100, about 100 frames per second if you went to minimum. Let's try Cyberpunk, because again, Cyberpunk does have XESS. Okay, let's go to settings, let's go to graphics. So we'll do ray tracing on low, no DLSS, but we do have Intel XESS, super sampling. So we'll put it on quality. Okay, so that's, I mean, right now, if you're looking at what's in the top left, that's usually pretty typical of where it's gonna run. So it's gonna run 60, 70 frames per second. But this actually looks really good, and this is definitely playable. This means textures are on high, everything else is on high, but you are getting ray tracing. Okay, this Fortnite is ready. Let's, let's bring up Fortnite. It said quality presets epic. Uh, super resolution is their own, dynamic is off, and then everything else is on epic. Okay, so let's, let's put it on low, because that's usually where you wanna get in there. And then we'll start. We're gonna get max frames per second. We're gonna show our FPS and then go from there. Okay, so we're looking at 130 frames per second right now. I mean, for a Fortnite machine, that's great. So this is 130, 140 frames per second. You could definitely run a higher frame rate, 120 hertz monitor. If you wanted to get in on this and play some Fortnite, you definitely could. Hogwarts Legacy, there we go. So this is Hogwarts Legacy. 60 frames per second. Let's see what it's set. Okay, so we're at ultra with, whoa, what, what? We're at ultra? XESS set to balanced. Okay, so let's say XES to quality. Let's try it. But I mean, like this is running 70 frames per second with everything on ultra. This is way better than I thought. And you could turn off ray tracing if you wanted to. So if we turn off ray tracing, they're only getting 70, 60, 70 frames per second. So it actually didn't change a whole lot from ray tracing. This is way, way better than I thought it would be. I'll be honest. Let's check out one more game. So let's just check out Diablo 4 and see how this runs. Resolution XESS, we're gonna go to quality. Quality preset is currently set to high. So we're getting 60 right now. 
So definitely not, I don't, definitely not ultra. Still some slowness, some stutters for sure. I feel like we're, I feel like, hold on, is V-Sync on? Oh, that's, that's not gonna help either, okay. Okay, now we're getting 200 frames per second. There's 130. This seems playable. Guys, we have not only shown you how it performs, we showed you how to build it, We've given you some options for less expensive and frankly, uh, even an alternative, you know, given how good this card looks. I mean, with the all blue, having an all white system with the blue would also look really, really good. Again, huge shout out to Intel and Newegg for sponsoring this video and for giving us an opportunity to get our hands on with this card before it even released. So if you wanna see the parts list and where to get the cards, we have links to Newegg down below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post videos like this uh, and other videos as well. And if you wanna find us at Robitech, we're also posting things like Instagram and showing new hardware like this this off on all of our different social channels. So check those out as well. Lastly, if you have questions, you wanna build a PC like this or you're not entirely sure, join our Discord server, discord.gg slash Robitech. Great place to ask questions. You know what? You might make a friend. Anyway, guys, that's it for Robitech. I hope you enjoyed this episode and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.